hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i would like to share you on how i made this two kind of easy recipe for seafoods stay tuned and let's do the intro so first recipe would be the seafoods with udon noodon let's start so una po natin gagawin hahatiin po natin ang sibuyas slice po natin siya ng very fine um, we're just gonna need a half of it kasi large po yung sibuyas natin so okay na lang After chopping the onions, we're going to press our 3 cubes of garlic. After pressing the garlic, we're going to set aside it and then we're going to start to chop our 5 pieces of tomatoes. These 5 pieces of tomatoes would be our sauce for our first recipe so after chopping the tomatoes we're going to set aside it again and then we're going to start chopping our mushrooms after preparing everything we're going to start to cook our first recipe So, ito po yung seafoods natin. Meron po siyang tahong, kalamares, at saka um, hipon po siya na maliliit. So, the first thing we're going to do is, lusawin po natin yung 2 tablespoons of butter. But, by the way guys, you can also use your sunflower oil, your olive oil, or anything you're admired to use. Hindi po uh, pilitan na butter ang ice. It's optional. So first, we're gonna put our garlic. Let's wait until it turns brown, golden brown. And then, add our onion. Kaluto po yun ng ating sibuyas at saka ang ating bawang, ilagay na po natin ang ating mushroom. Halo-haloin lang po natin siya hanggang maluto. Takpan ng konti at lagyan ng asin. After a while, we're going to add our tomato chunks. the same procedure, we're going to mix it up tapos lagyan po ulit natin siya ng asin ng konti and then hintayin lang po natin siyang maluto hanggang sa magsabaw yung ating tomato So, ganyan lang po siya. Halo-haloin lang po natin yung mushroom, tomato, at saka yung bawang sibuyas natin. And then, after a while, we're going to add some basil and parsley. So after adding it, we're going to mix it together and add um, 4 grams of salt. Kasi kanina konti lang yung nilagay natin para magtubig ng konti. Now we can add 4 grams of salt again. Hindi po siya maalat, promise. Of course, don't forget our pepper. It 
you are also addicted to oriental spices like me you can also add some chili powder ginger powder and black pepper powder and yeah to make it tastier i also added some um oyster sauce not so much and then some soy sauce after completing all the ingredients we are going to mix it together again and then leave it for three to five or six minutes para mag watery po yung tomato natin to be our sauce So, para hindi po siya dumik sa ating palayok, nilagyan ko po siya ng tubig galing po sa ating udon noodle water. Ayan, nilagyan ko po siya para add na rin po sa ating um, tomato sauce. So, dahil luto na po yung sauce natin, ilalagay na po natin ang ating seafoods para maghalo na rin po yung um, lasa sa seafoods. Then, leave it again for... 3 minutes. So guys, after 3 minutes, ayan na po siya. Naluto na po yung ating sauce and pwede na natin ilagay ang ating udon noodle. And then we're going to mix it up para maghalo po yung lasas na noodle at saka sa mga seafoods at saka sa ingredients. Mix it together. Tapos, iwan lang po natin ulit siya ng 3 minutes. And then, it's ready to serve. So guys, this is our first recipe, our udon noodle with seafoods. And then we're going to proceed to our next recipe. Thank you! So guys, let's proceed to our next recipe that everyone knows, our buttered shrimp. Let's start. The first thing I did is to get a container and then instead of soft drinks, I used apple vinegar and 50 grams of brown sugar for marinating my shrimp. First, I dissolved the 50 grams of brown sugar and vinegar. So after dissolving the sugar, I put my 250 grams of shrimp and then set aside for 2 hours or marinated it for 2 hours. So after setting aside, I started to chop my onion. After chopping our onions, we're going to set aside and then we're going to press our 
four pieces of garlic and then we're going to start cooking. We're gonna hit the pan and then put two and a half tablespoon of butter and then we're going to add our garlic and onions. Tapos po mag-brown ng ating onion at saka ng garlic, ilagay na po natin ang ating shrimp. Tapos halo-haloin po natin, tapos iwan po natin siya ng 2 minutes. So it's ready for seasoning. Una po natin ilalagay is yung oyster sauce. And then a bit of soy sauce. And of course, we're going to put some amount of, a little amount of salt. And of course, our black ground pepper, our basil on parsley. So after completing the ingredients or seasonings, we are going to mix it together again. And then we are going to leave it for 2 minutes for the result that we wanted to achieve. So guys, after 2 minutes, it's done and it's ready to serve. So guys, this is our last recipe, my own version of butter shrimp. Um, thank you for watching guys and hope to see you to my next video next week. Bye and God bless everyone.